With the Clan War Leagues coming to a close, you want to know all about the League medals and what you should spend them on. So in this video, I will break it all down so at the end you know exactly what the best items are. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. In this one, I want to break down the Clan War League medals, how exactly they are distributed across leagues so you know how to get more of them, but most importantly, what exactly should you spend them on? This differs depending on your town hall level, so I will explain all of it to you because I like to bring educational but entertaining Clash of Clans videos. So if that's the type of content you want to see, I would recommend subscribing and also turning on the notification bell. Now you can help to support me or any other creator in game by using the creator boost before making any purchases. My code is judo and it is much appreciated my friends. So the Clan War League medals are a special type of currency that you gain by participating in the Clan War Leagues which obviously happens once per month. I thought I'd go over the distribution of medals first because it can sometimes be a confusing subject before we then go over how to best spend the medals. I do however have video chapters in case you are returning to the video you can skip right on ahead to whichever section you wish. Now the Clan War League medals are given dependent on the league that your team is participating in and also the position that you finish within a set league. That determines the maximum medals that you could receive as a player within your clan. However, it is a little bit individualized as well. Even if you are taken on the initial spin, but you are not put on any of the rosters, you don't attack, you will gain 20% of the league medals. So hypothetically, if my clan were to finish third in Masters 1, that is a maximum of 370 medals, meaning even if I did not attack, I would gain 74 medals for being taken into the clan war league. However, this will increase by 10% for every star that you achieve for your team, meaning if you gain 8 stars across the course of the week, you will gain 100% of the medals based on where your clan positions within the league. And the really cool thing is distribution of medals across the leagues is proportionate to the league and position. We all know that there can be mismatches because there's no algorithm you are purely matched with your league, but if we take a look at the first and eighth position of each league, there is only a very slight difference. And if we take a closer look, if a clan was in Masters 3, in seventh place, 274 being the maximum medals and 8th place 268, if that clan were to purposely drop to Crystal 1, they would have to place 1st or 2nd to get the same amount of medals. And this is exactly the same as you move down through the leagues. A very slight overlap in terms of 1st and 2nd and 7th and 8th, so there really isn't a benefit to dropping leagues. You don't get the same rewards. It is proportionate as you move through. You can also earn more medals through a bonus at the end of the week. This is determined by the leader or a co-leader to who is deserving in the team. Now this is dependent on the league you are competing in as well, in terms of how many bonuses the leaders could give out and how many medals that bonus is worth. For each war that your clan wins, they will be eligible to give one extra player a bonus, but this does not increase the amount of medals per bonus. So much like the base rewards, the best thing to do is push up the leagues to get more medals. Now getting to the league shop, what exactly should you spend your league medals on? Now this will be dependent on your town hall level and progression through the game. So what I thought I would do is literally go through the different items and tell you whether you should or should not purchase it at any given area of the game. And by the end, you will know exactly the items that you should be purchasing for your town hall level. Starting out with the loot, 2.5 million gold or 2.5 million elixir. Should you purchase this in 99.9% .9 of situations? No, this is the worst value per league medal. One league medal is 100,000 gold or elixir. It is so easy to go and farm that, it really isn't worth it. The only time you may consider this is if you are an extremely passive player and you are saving up for an expensive 
massive upgrade. You would use the loot for the final parts of that upgrade. Not earlier on, because obviously you are subject to lose that on defense. So that is the only situation where you might consider it. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, I do want to let you know that you can hold 2,500 League medals. And Magic Items, we did a whole separate video explaining them recently, become better in value the higher up in Town Hall levels you go. That is why the advice I'm going to be giving you will differ on which items you should purchase depending on your level and base progression. For that reason, you should save onto your League medals if you want the absolute best value. Unless you get to a situation where the amount you would gain from the Clan War Leagues you couldn't hold because you would cap out at 2,500. So you can work out roughly how many you make each month and just make sure that you have more than enough to gain all of the medals and just hover around that region because you will always get better value the higher up you go. But if you can't resist temptation, let's go through the best items. The training portion is one of the most versatile and best magic items out there. For 10 league medals, it can yield way better results than the 25 for the loot alone because within that hour you can more than likely farm more than the loot and possibly of both resources so it's better value than the loot however because you can get the training potion from so many other methods i probably still wouldn't recommend it there are better options however if you are going to be farming very actively you are close to the expensive upgrade you don't have any training potions and you don't want to spend the gems to boost your army camps heroes spell factory you would be better off spending the 10 league medals for the training potion rather than the loot itself it's not my thing, however if you did want to convert your league medals into gems, the training potion is the best way to do that. It's 10 league medals and you also get 10 gems for selling it back. So that is how you could sell a league medal per gem. Definitely not recommended for best value, but if you are wanting to do that, it might be that every month you can actually convert a couple of dollars worth of gems. Also related to farming is the resource portion. I actually have the maximum amount, that's why it's grayed out, but it allows you to boost up your collectors. The training portion is definitely better value, allowing you to actively farm. However, if you don't like the grind of the game and you just want to purchase the resources, the resource portion is still better value value than the loot itself, depending on how many collectors you have and what level they are. If you have all of the collectors and they are maxed, you will roughly get 1 million gold, 1 million elixir and 10,000 dark elixir per resource portion. Now the resource portion being 10 CWL medals means you would have to use 2.5 of them to equal the 25 for the loot. And that means that you would get 2.5 million gold, 2.5 million elixir, so it's twice the value plus you get the Dark Elixir as well. But that does mean you have to get online to collect your collectors before someone raids you. So it starts getting complicated. It's not recommended, but it's better value than the loot alone. Now we get to the items that are actually worth purchasing. First up, we have the Research Potion. This allows you to boost anything within your laboratory for 24 hours, meaning that for 20 League Medals, you shave an entire day off the upgrade. Now for Town Hall 8 and below, my recommended items are going to be the Research Potion and the Builder Potion, depending on what you are upgrading, but I will go into this in a bit more depth. However, for the higher levels, as you will find out, the the hammers are the better option, but it's definitely not as good value at lower level for the reasons I discussed before in terms of magic items being better higher up and saving onto your league medals. Moving back to the research portion though, it can be something that you have to make a comparison depending on what you're upgrading, but let's give you the explanation. So 20 league medals for the research portion allows you to shave an entire day off the laboratory. Now if we compare that to to the hammers which are better higher up the hammer of spells is 120 as is the hammer of fighting that is six days worth of upgrades so anything larger than six days you are better to just use the hammers however at town hall 8 and below a lot of the upgrades are way less than six days which means if the resources is not that much of a deal which as we mentioned you can easily farm the resources then you are better off 
off to use the research portion. I would say anything that is five days or less, just buy multiple research portions because it will save you league medals in the long run than using the hammers. But you do have to make a little bit of a comparison as to where you are at in terms of your loot and the upgrade itself as to whether the hammer or the research is better. But lower level, research tends to be better. Higher level, hammers tend to be better. I sold a builder portion in order to compare this better for you. By the way, it was only 10 gems, so the same as the training portion, hence why the training portion is better if you want to convert to gems. However, the builder portion is 30 league medals. Now, the builder portion can actually be better for you lower level than the research portion, depending on how many builders you have working, because the builder portion works for five builders. If you have six builders in your higher level, the hammer is going to be the better option. However, with the builder portion, it is only 10 times the speed, unlike the research portion, which is 24. So you would have to use 2.4 builder portions to get the same time increase as the research portion. However, the difference, the builder portion works on all builders. So for 30 league medals, that could work on five builders and you could convert that to 50 times the speed. When you compare that to the research portion, which is 24 times the speed for 20 league medals, you could see how the builder portion would be better value. However, it definitely depends on how many builders you have working. If you don't have all of your builders working, it's not as good value. Also to consider is once a defense has upgraded, it is active for every single defense. Whereas depending on what you upgrade in the laboratory, you might not use that upgrade every single attack. So it can come down to a little bit of decision making on where you feel you need to upgrade the most given your progression in the game, but for lower level, the research and the builder portions are going to be your best value. Now we've already mentioned that for higher level, the hammers are the better option, but there is some comparison, some are better than others. Let's first discuss the wall ring. The wall ring gives you the equivalent of 1 million gold or elixir for a wall upgrade per ring, but it rounds up over. So even if a wall was 1,000, a level 1 wall, it would still cost you 1 million worth of loot in that of one wall ring. So you're not really going to use it lower level, the better options are the potions, and higher level, the hammers are the better option. So where exactly does the wall ring come in? When should you use it? There is a situation where you might purchase the wall rings. If you were just going to plow loot into walls, it would be your best conversion. 50 league medals would give you the equivalent of 10 million gold or elixir, whereas 50 via purchasing the loot would only give you five. However, I still wouldn't recommend it other than in one situation. It is very specific, but if your base was fully maxed other than walls because they tend to be the final thing you upgrade, and there were two other things in place. Number one, the hammers were all purchased. There is a storage limit of one with a seven day cooldown, so you want to purchase them all ready for when the next update drops. Also, if your capacity of League Medals was about to be full, i.e. you were about to cap off at 2,500 and you had to spend some, then the Wall Rings are the best value to convert into your walls, but you would only spend enough to collect the new League Medals to keep yourself close to max so that when the next update were to drop, you could then purchase some more Hammers. Now we move to the best value for your League Medals, the hammers. By the way, there are statues here you can purchase as well. They offer zero value in terms of your progression. I actually purchased the champion statue because I'm a little bit of a collector. You needed to be in champion one and my base is virtually maxed anyways. So if you do want to show off a bit with the statue, absolutely. I'm not saying don't purchase it, but in terms of value, it is definitely not going to offer you anything. The hammers though, these are very special to the clan war leagues. In my magic items video, I did mention you can get them from a couple of other methods. There were a lot of questions in the comments. The other methods are if they are ever offered in the in-game events or sometimes from purchasable packs. However, the hammers 
are special to the Clan War Leagues because they offer the best value. You have the Hammer of Fighting, Building and Spells, which are all 120 medals, and the Hammer of Heroes, which is 165. Despite its higher cost, it is arguably the best value. Let's start with the least valuable though, the Hammer of Building. It costs the same amount as the Hammer of Fighting and the Hammer of Spells, but because it is your builders that are directly related to this and you have up to six builders, it's often not the same value as the research, the laboratory, because often you get that bottleneck because you only have one lab. Therefore, the hammer of fighting and spells are often better. The other reason for that is that often you will use the hammer of fighting or spells for dark elixir. And dark elixir is a much more valuable resource. You will use it to grind your hero levels at higher town hall levels and it's more difficult to farm. So I always use and recommend the Hammer of Spells and Fighting for the Dark Elixir based upgrades. I often find in the lab that at higher level, it takes longer to upgrade than many of the buildings anyway, hence giving you better value than the Hammer of Building. But it does come back to a lot of what we discussed for the lower town hall levels in that it can be a bit of decision making to see what is most valuable to you at any given moment in your progression. Finally, we come to my favourite item to purchase in the League Shop, the Hammer of Heroes. You can let me know your favourite item down in the comments, but the Hammer of Heroes is the best value for me, even though it has a higher price tag of 165 League Medals. Now the reason for that is a little bit to what we discussed on the lab upgrades versus the building upgrades, in that the heroes are just so valuable. Whether you are farming, whether you're doing war attacks, you always want to try and have your heroes active as much as possible because it will help you to gain more loot in farming. It will help you with success of war attacks. So for that reason, the extra league medals are often worth it. Now it does come back down to the hammer will always be better value the higher up you go. So for example, if I were to spend 165 medals on an archer queen that is level 50 versus an archer queen that is level 60, it still costs the same amount of league medals, but I'm getting more value for the higher upgrade because it costs more. And I think it's always a week at that point, but you get the idea in relation to the hammers, they will always be better value value the higher you go but once you pass the point whereby the research portion and the builder portion will cost you more to purchase and boost more of them for the upgrade then the hammers are your absolute best value and you should always prioritize them but it does come down a little bit to your situation but my vote would go to the Hammer of Heroes. That is my ultimate guide for your Clan War League medals and how you should spend them. I think my upgrade guide for every Town Hall level would also be of benefit to you. So I've linked it right here on the screen alongside the subscribe button. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Share any other comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care guys.